how would you respond to those that argue that the university has encouraged and is continuing to encourage students to remain in Leeds, even when doing so may be detrimental to their physical, mental or financial well-being? Um, I don't really agree with that analysis. Um, and I think in the whole discussion about what what students should be doing, whether they should stay on campus or should go off campus, then we often forget um, that it's not just about the teaching. So even if all your teaching is online, there still could be really good reasons to be on campus. And I think we're all aware that for students' mental health, the connection with other students, the, the availability of clubs and societies that are working so hard to do things in different ways when they can't carry out um, their activities because of the, the risk of infection, that that's still a very important part of students' lives. So some students will have to be on campus because their teaching needs to be face to face when they're in clinical placements or have to be in labs. Um, and some students, even when their teaching is mostly or totally online, could still have really good reasons to be in Leeds. So I would personally encourage every student to stay in Leeds, be in Leeds, be on campus and be around if they're living off campus because of everything the university has the university life has to offer and it, it's not just um, listening to lectures or being in online working groups and it's certainly not that the university just wants to make money off students or forces students to do things we really can't do that all we can do is encourage and of course if if government regulations change and if students can no longer be on campus because they they um, because the government tells them that the campuses need to close, then it's a completely different situation. But I also need to point out that um, there have been no cases of transmission in in face-to-face -face, um, teaching because we all, we have made sure the campus is completely safe, that there's social distancing and ventilation. And none of the cases that we've seen so far have come through teaching. Um, and yeah, I think it's very important that students keep coming and keep enjoying um, their life on campus. I guess for some students, um, they may be feeling quite isolated with the amount of things that are online this year. Um, I mean, what do you have to say to those who do feel isolated because of this? And looking to the future, is there any chance that because there's been no transmission in face-to-face -face learning, that there could be more face-to-face -face learning for students whose courses are predominantly online at the moment. Yeah, what we've been saying all along is if face-to-face if -face learning is absolutely necessary or pedagogically advantageous. So clearly, if it's, if it's possible to do it safely and it helps the interaction with students and teachers and students amongst themselves, then I think we should encourage face-to-face -face teaching. So we've been doing that all along, and I think we'll keep doing that until the regulations change. 